Texas lawmakers are already gearing up for the next regular legislative session beginning in almost five months. And today they gave a preview of what will likely become a dominant issue at the Capitol. KXAN's Will Dupree reports on the revived debate to offer private school subsidies in the state. All right, members, uh, we're going to move on to charge number two, educational opportunity. Consider State Representative Brad Buckley kicked off a brainstorming session about how Texas could craft a policy that has eluded top Republican leaders. The House Public Education Committee heard how some of these highlighted states are implementing education savings accounts. For instance, Indiana's program provides up to $20,000 for students with disabilities and their siblings who fall within a certain income level. ESA grant must be used on private school tuition, curriculum, services, therapies, transportation, training programs and camps, and assessments. Jonathan Covey with the conservative advocacy group Texas Values hopes state lawmakers will think broadly. We support universal school choice. We also support some sort of prioritization method so that uh, you know low income and uh, vulnerable demographics can get what they need. Democrats accuse the state's Republican leaders of saving a 32 billion dollar surplus to pay for a voucher like program. I think is really Disappointing considering, again, how substantially underfunded our neighborhood public schools are. Some parents argue state leaders should work to shore up public schools. We think vouchers are a conversation that would be way down the road. We have a lot of things in our public school system that needs support. And I think if those schools were actually funded well, that parents wouldn't need to go elsewhere. What shape the lawmakers' plan takes may not become clearer until after the November election. In Austin, I'm Will Dupree. At least 80 people signed up to speak at today's session. Last year, Democrats, along with a group of mostly rural Republicans in the Texas House, repeatedly helped block ESAs from becoming state law. Governor Greg Abbott backed challengers against many of those incumbents in his own party, and he now claims that he has the support that he needs to pass school choice next year.